Snowboarding is the most addictive drug on earth. It's the reason some people work all year long overtime for a snowboarding trip. Uh, they crack themselves up with 10 other people and eat uh, rundown food. Some people call it crazy. I call it living a dream. However, the worst thing in snowboarding is freezing. I will inform you how to keep warm during a snowboarding trip. Snowboarding pants and jackets are the outdoor clothing specifically customized to meet the need of snowboarding. These specialized garments for the lower body and upper body are used by snowboarding practically for comfort and safety reasons. Snowboarding is a physically demanding sport, which requires enough protection from the cold weather and other outside forces. Thus, the main purpose of snowboarding gear is to keep the body warm, dry, and protect it against crashes. It should also help maintain the body's thermal equilibrium. The best way to maintain the body's thermal equilibrium is through a three-layer system. The three-layer system means that the clothing has three different layers with equally unique and important functions and purposes. In the case of snowboarding gear, the first layer, also called the base layer, is the one with direct contact to the skin. Its purpose is to wick moisture away from the skin and keep the body dry and comfortable. The second layer, also called the insulation layer, keeps the moisture away from the body, but more importantly, it provides insulation and warmth for the body by trapping the cold water with the body heat. The third and the outer layer of snowboarding gear, also called the outer shell, is the one with direct contact to the outside environment. This layer should be waterproof and windproof, but at the same time it should allow the body to breathe and wake away accumulated moisture. The best snowboarding gear depends on one's personal needs and specific conditions like the weather and location. Snowboarding gear in the market is offered in different types, different specialized functions, and specific fabric materials. For instance, when snowboarding at night, your gear should have reflective material to help spot you in the dark when in cold weather, or people get cold, they can add extra lining for the pants or the jacket. Snowboarding pants and jackets with lots of pockets are also available for those who need to carry many items with them. These are just some of the other things you consider in snowboarding jacket pants. The fabric, the fit, and water resistant function. Here I have an example of the third layer called the outer shell, just so for uh, viewing purposes. You can tell by the pants they have two different inner liners. On the inside you have heat straps with release heat. Also, same thing goes with the jacket. 